Jim, a question from the Cult of Cornet Facebook group. This one was sent by Josh Wilson. Would Jim have quit working for the WWE and left his position at OVW to work with the Jarretts during the early days of TNA if Stain wasn't involved in TNA? <laughs> uh, no, I'm... I... The short answer is no. Uh, absolutely not. OVW was always my first priority because I was part owner of the company and is in my hometown, and that's the whole idea of what we were doing. So I didn't have to go anywhere anymore. There's been a recurring theme for the last 20 years, me not fucking going anywhere. Uh, but if I can see, because Dutch Mantel was involved and both Jerry and Jeff were involved, um... I can see that we probably may have worked together at some point, either, you know, well, no, I tell a lie because they, they were technically still, they were, they were considered competition by Vince and we had the developmental program. So we couldn't have really traded talent. You know, as far as some of my non-contract guys, I may have pitched trying to get them a spot there. Or, you know, there may have been phone calls back and forth. Hey, what do you think of this guy? I'm thinking of using that guy. Or have you seen, you know, just like that. But I don't think we could have done anything formal because of the, uh, the WWE developmental deal. But at the same, I'm sure there would have been some conversation about something because we're only 180 miles apart. But no, I never... And as soon as I heard that Russo was involved, I never took him seriously, nor even watched any of the programs or, I, you know, I might read the shit, you know, the recaps of what they did, but I never actually saw any TNA until about three weeks before I went to work for him when, you know, Dutch had been calling me. I left WWE in July of 05 and Dutch called me that week and I said, I don't want to do anything right now. I'm, I've just gotten away from these fucking people driving me crazy. Um, and we stayed in touch back and forth. And finally, the next some they had something going on, and I'm trying to remember what it was. The Dutch said, well, we really need you to come in, and I need to make a ruling about the title. They needed an authority figure or a new one, and I needed to make a ruling about the title and play off of their summer pay-per-view. I said, all right. Was, and, that the, was that the clip that was just going around on social media where you're in the ring and like you fought, you break up Team Canada, you give the belt yes. back to you? Oh, that was awesome. Yes, that was yeah. great. Bro broke up Team Canada. I made several rulings. The crowd and went it, crazy for each ruling. Well, they were except not for Jeff. Good rulings, except for Jeff getting the belt back. Well, but then, but then <laughs> I kind of spit in his eye too. <laughs> but you know, I've. I've been ruling rulings all morning. If you've read the rulings I've been ruling, you'll know they're really well-written rulings. But it, so anyway, that's that's how that came about. Is that I really I'd, I'd never seen the program because he it just it, instantly I heard he was involved and I tuned it out of my mind. 